again. And this time we're back up in the Northumberland Hills with the Cheviots in the background. So I'm out with my nephew tonight and we're going to do a, another wild camp. Beautiful night as you can see. Sunny, a bit breezy, keep the midges a bit. So we're just going to have a wander up here. Up there, I've got something to show them. Something a bit different, so we're going to go and have a bit of explore. And then uh, we're going to find a pitch. He's out in the All Pro Pioneer 2 tonight. My old tent. And I've got the Nature High Cloud Peak too. I've got some food and that, so looking forward to it. Bit of company. It's his first ever wild camp, so we'll see what he thinks. And uh, yeah, what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> so yeah, we'll get on, see what we can find. Get some video for you all. Let's go. So we've just been walking a while and we're just getting the, the views. All the windmills there. I don't know why with this energy crisis, you know, or the cost of electric or not. I don't know why we don't have more of them. I know obviously they cost money to make and to put in, but you know, when you hear about renewables and this and that, I really don't know why there's not a lot more of them in the countryside. Maybe it's because of the landowners, I don't know. If anybody does know, they could put a comment on. You know, you'd think they would be covered. But maybe it's the landowners. Now I've said that, it's what makes sense. You know, if you own the land, you might say, well, I don't want them on my land. Unless you're going to give us a substantial amount of money. But, right, we're just going to follow this fence line up towards the top of that hill. I've got a little surprise for my nephew, something for him to see, something strange. And uh, peculiar. So let's go. Right, so just brought them down to the Catherine Hall, which I've been here before and done a video on before. But my nephew's never been here, so you want to see it. So I've hiked all the way over here. Was it worth hiking here? Yeah. Yeah? Oh well. It's seven o'clock now, so probably take we're about half an hour, 40 minutes to get back to where we're camping. Still light. And uh yeah, I'll just go and have a quick look in here then. As I say, I'll put the link to my video where I came here previously. Uh, so, I still haven't sussed out what it actually is. Or what it was used for. Some say a bull's hole to the old castle. And I don't know if you can pick that up. Anyway, if you want to watch a bit of better video, I'll put the link on. There's a little candle there, look. Sixty-five, seventy-five. I don't know how true that is. Well, there's the exit. Just basically in the middle of nowhere. You wouldn't know it was here unless you know someone told you about it. But right, yes. If you want to watch a bit more of this, I've done a previous video on it. I just basically wanted to show me a few where it was and what it was. So he's had a bit of explore. He's a bit camera shy. So just gonna head back to where we're gonna pitch, get set up, and uh, get a beer and get some food on the go. Right, this is where we're gonna pitch for tonight. And I'm gonna pitch just here. So if by magic, three, two, one. Right, set up again. Say so last time. Cloud pick two. 
defiant seating bag, seat of summit, big mat, seat of summit pillow, Rab, there's me rucksack, here's me bits and bobs, jet boil, BS for the night, we've got the Aldi specials, and we've got another one from Twice Brew, thanks Matt, we'll be real, having a look at that later, tea for the night, I'm going to start cooking proper food, jumping on the bandwagon with everyone else because these are alright but they're expensive and they don't fill you as much as a proper meal. Look at that. A cup with some hot chocolate and some coffee in. I've got that to have as well. And some Malte Maltesers. Just porridge in the morning. So we're just getting set up. He's just set up there. And the old pro Pioneer 2. The old tent that I used on the Great Glen Way. Which is a fantastic little tent. Well, my Annie. Donna Van Sevier Senior are often out in theirs. And Donna says to us, she says, actually I bought mine after seeing your review. So that was canny. And a uh, big shout out to Delta Ground Anchors, who very kindly sent us these bad boys. Yeah, these Delta pegs. So I've got them in. I don't think it's going to be stormy tonight in any way, shape, or form. But I've just brought them with us just to try them out. And yeah, bit of an upgrade. The pegs you get with the new child Cloud Peak 2 are good pegs. But supposedly these bad boys are the best on the market. So thanks again to, for sending these out. Um, and I think. You might have even subscribe to my YouTube channel, which was even nicer of you. So right, so I'm going to set up a time lapse because that sunset's looking quite nice. But look at the view. Look at that. Yeah. The only thing is, if I'm being really petty with this spot, it's not very level. He hasn't got a bad pitch though. I'll let him have the better of the two pitches. His is probably more level than mine. But hey ho. You know, you don't go camping on football fields. So, I'm going to set my time lapse up, see if I catch that, that sunset. If it's worth keeping, I'll put on my video. Right, catch us in a bit. I don't think that was much of a sunset, never mind. So, I'm just starting to tuck in. Already on this. I do like these, mine. So Ben's over there with his wayfarer O'Neill cooking away. But I'm I'm hungry, so I'm having a spicy curry pot noodle, well snack noodle first before I get on the wayfarers. But uh, yeah, recognise this spot. If you watch my videos, you'll know I was here several weeks ago, just before I went off on holiday to Turkey. Absolutely loved it, so we've come back. And you know, if you watched the video, it said I want to go there and I want to go to the Captain Hall, so that's what we've done. Um, there's the chief, it's over there. Look, it's not forecast to rain, and uh, it is quite cloudy up there, so I don't think we'll see any stars. But hey ho, but I'm gonna get this food down, is because it's gone nine and I'm absolutely Hank Marvin. Right, catch us in a bit. There we go. So I had my tea. I tell you what, that wayfarer has vegetable curry. I would probably say it's probably the best wayfarer I've ever had. That was really nice. I had the chicken curry. I think the vegetable curry is probably tastier. So, uh, just sitting out here. Shame we're not getting to see the sun set. But, uh, yeah. Never mind. So here's me in me tent. Yeah, got me little cheap land mount. Sitting having a, a pint of buckon stateside IPA. That other one basically just got necked. Because I was thirsty. But I've had some food now. I've had me snidey pot noodle. I'm really a fair meal. So yeah, 
feel quite full. I should actually shouldn't have to eat that. And uh, I'm gonna go over and check my nephew. Got my little <laughs> bag of treats to share with his uncle. And then uh, we'll finish with this bad boy, Fama, which is a super juicy New England style IPA. Mmm, look forward to that. And I've also got all north in there, don't we? Hey, and Jim Beam. My uncle Jim, he's with us today. So, yeah, looking forward to get all cozy in here. I've went for comfort more than anything else, that's why I've got my seat to summit mat and me the fine bag. Did that on the um, east coast on my last camping video, me at Amble, and I was super cozy, super comfortable, and super warm. So I think that's going to be the sleep system from choice from now on. I have still got my Firma Rest New Air, but I like this personally. It is bigger to pack. It's not much heavier, um, but I don't mind. I've got a big rucksack, and it's uh, with it being bigger and wider, it's uh, perfect. So yeah, when uh, if there's anything else worth videoing you, yeah, I'll switch it back on. If not, we'll see you in the morning. Over and out. Right. Back again. There's the moon, look at that. Got me head torch on. Look at that. It's good head torch, yes. I'll have to do a review on it one day. So anyway. Uh, yes. So I'm with my nephew who chose not to be filmed, which is fine. So, how are you finding it? Good. Good? First wild camp? Yeah. Yeah. Out of ten? Ten. Really? Yeah. Well, that's good. It must be because you're with the pro. Yeah. So, yes, it's actually nice having company. Normally it's me little dog, which you all know. He's not here at night. Um, I'm sure he would have wanted to come, but uh, he's staying with Alvina. And I just thought just me and my nephew have some time just to tour, not worrying about what he's doing or where he is. So yeah, miss him Mike. Strange him not being here. So I think he's been on every single wild camp I've ever done. But hey go. And uh yeah. So we're sitting here, tucking in the mall trees. And I think we're gonna have a game of cards, aren't we? Yeah. And then I'm going to continue drinking my beer. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. Catch you in a bit. Right, boys and girls. That's that done. So now, this twice brewed brewing company, Fama. So this is our off our friend Matt at the twice brewed in again. Thank you very much, Matt. The last one was very nice. And you very kindly sent us another one. So we'll see what this is like. Oh, it, sm oh, it smells fruity, mind. Super juicy New England style IPA. Low bitterness and a thick mouthful. Flavors of pineapple and coconut. Oh yeah, you can taste the pineapple. Oh, that's really nice. Yeah. So, 6.3%. Yeah. Oh, I like that. Very nice, Matt. So, anyone fancy something different? Get yourself to the twice brood or get online, get some more ice in. Very nice, so I'm gonna enjoy this and uh, probably be a bit tipsy afterwards. <laughs> Cheers, Matt. All the best, mate. Well, guys, just getting in now. Uh, it's been good, haven't come we actually? 
me and the nephew just sat outside there, outside his tent, he was in his sleeping bag. And I just had me beers and that. And just chatting on. So yeah, that was really nice. But it's gone 11 o'clock, so... He's ready for bed and so am I. So anyway, we'll uh, see you in the morning. Morning campers. Just gone 7 o'clock. But uh, had a good sleep, very comfortable. Oh, very. Very comfortable, very warm. And uh, yeah, I've not seen my nephew yet, so I'm gonna get up, see how he is, and put some breakfast on. Oh. Right, let's go. Right, so there's my porridge in the dinted pot. It'll still do. Golden syrup flavour. There's a nice mug of black coffee. I've got to have a black coffee to start the day. And uh, that's the room we've got for breakfast. My colleague here is just having his wayfarer all day breakfast. Nice? Yeah. Excellent. Happy days. We'll get tucked in. Then we'll get packed away. Right, that's all packed up. That was where I was. Nothing but flat grass. He was just on there, look. Even nothing but sheep's poo and memories. So head back towards the car now. So you can probably tell it's quite blustery. Wind's getting up, so we've just got packed in time, really. A uh, couple of things I'm learning on each wild camp. Um, the hood on the Cloud Peak 2, I've seen a couple of guys modifying theirs, making the elastic shorter to get the hood tighter. I'm going to do that because it was slapping in the wind a little bit. Um, attach at least one piece of the hood to the actual tent just so there's no risk of it blown away not that it has but may one day um them delta pegs were great you know i didn't camp in a storm or nothing but uh it was blustery and the tent wasn't moving got up this morning had a look and uh none of them would work loose or nothing like that so they're fantastic Great products, it's worth an upgrade. I think they retail for about 24 or 5 pounds for a dozen, something like that. So it's only like two pounds a peg. And uh, yeah, so just little upgrades as we go. I think we're all like that, aren't we? All the wild camp has. There's always something you like to tweak, uh, upgrade. It's all about learning, getting out. The more you get out, the more you learn. The more you learn what you need, what you don't need. What you like, what you don't like. You know, but uh, I'm getting there now. Now it's just tweaking. I've learned a lot over the last few years. You know, the garden kit, size, quality weight you know sometimes when i first started off i started off budget a lot of mountain warehouse stuff uh mainly because i was naive i didn't know such products like city summit firm arrest rab well i'd heard of rab but you know what i'm getting at you know i never heard of a hillyberg so plus the fact I thought, well, you know, if you buy cheap, and I do it a couple of times, I don't like it. It's not the end of the world. Whereas you go out and buy a 200 pound mat, instead of the mat to lie on, you camp on it once and you don't like it, you don't go wild camping again, you know, that and the tent and everything else. So 
waste some money. But yeah, happy with my kit really. There's not a lot I would change now, just as I say, just tweaking. Look at this, so there's the North Sea over there. The sun shining down onto it. So my nephew says he's had a good time. Didn't sleep that well. I did explain that part of the fun of wild cameron. It's not often you get a good night's sleep. Uh, however, still enjoyed it. He likes the wayfarer meals. So, yeah. I've had a really good time as well. It's been nice having a bit of company. Someone to talk to. And, uh, yeah, we'll get home, get unpacked, and plan the next one. So, thanks for watching. Please give it the thumbs up if you like what you're seeing and hit the subscribe and the notification bell it means a lot and uh, we'll catch you on the next one which hopefully won't be too long see you later